Hey, this is Presh Tullwalker. Eight ants start at different corners of a cube. Suddenly, each ant moves to an adjacent corner at random. That is, each ant walks along one of its three adjacent edges with equal chance. What is the probability that none of the ants collide? I received this problem by email from Dave Carpenter, and it's quite fascinating. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for the solution. So let's first consider the total number of ways that the ants can move. Each ant can move along three possible edges. The total number of paths for eight ants equals the product of the number of possibilities for each ant. This means the total number of paths will be 3 to the power of 8, which equals 6561. Now we need to count the number of paths in which the ants do not collide. So one way the ants might not collide is that the ants on opposite faces rotate positions. For example, we can have the ants on the top face rotate positions and have the ants on the bottom face rotate positions. Here's one way that the ants could move so that they would not collide. But that's not the only possibility for the ants on the top and the bottom faces. For each face, the ants can move in two directions, either clockwise or counterclockwise. So we have to consider that there will be more possibilities. Here's another way that the ants could move in which they would not collide. Here's another way. And there will also be one more fourth way that the ants on the top and bottom faces will not collide. In total, the ants on each face can move either clockwise or counterclockwise, and there are two faces. So that means 2 times 2, which equals 4 possibilities for each pair of opposite faces. Now just for fun, I'm going to show you all of these possibilities for the top and bottom faces at once. So you can see the ants are moving in different directions in each of these four different cubes. Furthermore, we've only considered top and bottom faces, but there can be three pairs of opposite faces on a cube. We've just illustrated top and bottom, but we could also do the same sort of thing for the front and back faces, and we could do the same sort of thing for the left and right faces, where the ants in these faces rotate positions with each other. So how many different ways have we just figured out? Well, there are four different ways for each pair of opposite faces, and there are three kinds of opposite faces. That makes for four times three, which equals 12 ways the ants do not collide. But there is more. There's another way that the ants could not collide, which is that all eight of the ants can move in a loop. A closed path that goes through every vertex exactly once is called a Hamiltonian cycle. Now to preempt a comment, it will go through every vertex exactly once, except for the vertex that's both at the start of the end, which is visited twice. So with that caveat, we have the definition of a Hamiltonian cycle. So we want to figure out how many Hamiltonian cycles there are for the cube. So this will be a little bit more difficult to show you. So rather than going through this 3D model, I'm actually going to flatten out the cube. This is known as a cubical graph, and it's a 2D version of the cube. So let's illustrate the number of Hamiltonian cycles. Let me clean up this diagram. And now I'm going to tell you there are actually six undirected Hamiltonian cycles. You can imagine if you start at one vertex, there will be three choices. And then for the second vertex that you go to, there will be two more choices. So here's one example of a Hamiltonian cycle. Now let me go ahead and illustrate all of the other ones as well. Now this front face involves three different edges that are going through this loop, but you could also have the front face have exactly two of its edges involved in a loop. So here are the remaining Hamiltonian cycles. So these are six undirected Hamiltonian cycles. For each of these, we can actually place directions to create the ways that the ants might possibly flow on the cube. These are directed Hamiltonian cycles. Now this is one way that we could draw the arrows, but we could also draw the arrows in the opposite direction. 
Therefore, for each undirected Hamiltonian cycle, we have two possible directions for the loop. So this means, since each loop can be traversed in two directions, there are 12 directed Hamiltonian cycles. In other words, 12 ways that the ants could move so that they would not collide. So now, let's calculate the answer. There are 24 total ways that the ants will not collide. We have 12 cases from case 1 and 12 cases from case 2. This is out of a total of 6561 possible ways the ants could move. Therefore, the probability that there's no collision will be 24 divided by 6561, which equals 8 out of 2187, which is approximately 0.37%. It's a very slim chance that the ants will not collide, but it involves very interesting geometrical loops that are on the cube. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to my channel. I make videos on math. You can catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, which you can follow on Facebook, Google Plus, and Patreon. You can catch me on social media at Presh Talwalker. And if you like this video, please check out my books. There are links in the video description.